Hey, I'm Kevin and today I'm going to show you how I made these wooden notebooks in the Kevbot workshop. The supply list for this project is pretty simple. I stopped at my local Hobby Lobby to pick up a couple of spiral notebooks. These are pretty cheap and I can make a couple of different sizes. My local hardwood distributor offers some offcuts of different species of wood so I picked up some purple heart, yellow heart, and mahogany. I also had some walnut, maple, and paduke lying around the shop as well. Now these offcuts didn't come square from the store so I started by flattening these at the planer. I don't have a joiner so I glued a wedge to prop up one corner so it would lay flat. Once I had one side flat, I removed the wedge and flattened the other side. As you can see, this did the trick and both sides lay flat to the surface. I next used my jointer jig and my table saw to square up one of the sides. From here, it was basically creating cutting boards. I cut the strips for the design I wanted and used the planer to get them to the exact desired thickness. I used some type on 2 to glue up the pieces and clamp them up for a couple of hours. I brought it back to the planer to make sure I had two flat sides to work with. Then I traced my covers of the notebooks I bought so I can cut these boards to their final size. To create a book match of these, many of you could use a bandsaw. Now since my bandsaw isn't big enough for these boards, I just used my tenoning jig and my table saw. I cut some small pieces out of scrap pine so I could use them to fill the gap made by the blade when I flip them over and clamp them. The only thing left to do is to cut the rest with a handsaw. And then you have your book match pieces. The planer will clean up your boards and bring them to the appropriate thickness. I use some scrap wood to help reduce snipe. A lot of people would use a drum sander for thinner pieces like this, but I just changed out my blades on my planer so it cut pretty well. Now wood has its limits and I thought I could go just a little bit thinner when tragedy struck. To fix this, I got a smaller notebook so I could cut out the mistake. To make the holes, I just traced the holes from the original, found their centers, and made a punch with a small screwdriver. I'm using a brad point drill bit and not drilling all the way through so I can avoid tear up. I started sanding with 80 grit sandpaper and worked my way up. I pre rose the grain and did a final sanding at 220 as well as softening the edges. As a finish I did a couple of coats of armor seal satin. I really like how the oils bring out the colors in the wood. The pages were too big for the walnut cover, so I scribed a line and cut the pages with a sharp blade. Some 220 sandpaper made the edges look nicer. All that's left is to assemble the books. I really like how these turned out. This was a simple weekend project and would be very easy to batch out a whole bunch at a time. I think these could make great gifts or you could sell them at craft shows. 
If you like this video, hit that like button and let me know what you think in the comment section below. If you want to see more projects like this, hit that subscribe button so you can see them when they come out. You could also follow me on Instagram at KevBotWorkshop to see more photos and other projects in the works. That's it everybody, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time in the KevBot Workshop.